Hodgeberian. I'm reporting to you from Kingston, Jamaica, and I'll be speaking today with climatologist Mrs. Eleanor Jones from Environmental Solutions Limited, one of the greatest companies in Jamaica that has to do with the environment. Well, we're speaking to you from a small island developing state within the Caribbean. And small island developing states have particular vulnerabilities with respect to the impacts of climate change. And here in Jamaica, we have been working a, a great deal, and indeed in the Caribbean, with vulnerability uh, of the water sector, vulnerability of the tourism sector, our coastal ecosystems, and we have been developing adaptation strategies. Uh, what is significant is that although we say that in terms of size and development we contribute very little to greenhouse gases, the impact however of global warming is very significant for us and therefore we realize that the new climate systems are emerging, they're becoming more entrenched and our vulnerability is becoming increasingly exposed. I think it's important for us to recognize that climate change is not something in the future, climate change is now. And certainly here in the Caribbean, we are feeling the extreme effects of that. We're having uh, much longer droughts, we, we're feeling the effects of the El Nino, and all of the, the, the climate variabilities that are affecting the rest of the world. Uh, we're, we're having floods, and we have even had our spate of fires as a consequence of, of long dry periods fires which as, as you all know are typical of, of, of climate, changing climate. So um, here we are also experiencing significant rise in sea level, particularly along the southern shores where the water is coming in and, and removing a lot of our beaches. The greatest crisis facing the world today, I think, relates to, well, I'm speaking from small island developing states, uh, extreme events, floods, droughts, as we're seeing happening all over, unusual and variable climate patterns, rainfall when you don't expect it, drought when you don't expect it, or, or more so, and of course, water security is a very important part of that. So there are a lot of countries that are suffering from inadequate water supply and so water management is also another aspect of that. And of course food security which goes hand in hand with water and with rainfall um, occurrence. The, the crisis relates to the extreme variability in, in, in weather um, in terms of extremes in rainfall, extremes in, well, in rainfall in terms of floods and droughts. Those are, those are significant issues. Rising temperatures, of course, are changing atmospheric circulation patterns, and we're feeling the consequences of those. They have significant impact on the availability of water, or as we call it, water security. The uh, incidence of, of vectors, so health is, a, is an area that we tend not to focus on, but climate change it has it, and is having a major impact on, on health. And, and food security is, is also the availability of food because of course if we have too much or too little water then that it's, it very simply put affects how we, um, how we produce what we need to eat.